Hi everyone, now I'm back with Virgo's reading and Virgo's reading is gonna go again from A15 to A21. We're using the old tarot, not the old, you know, the, the, the original tarot deck, okay? And this one has some chrome on it. My son gave me this one a while back, so that's the one we're gonna be using. I'm gonna go ahead and do a little bit of the love sound for everyone who needs a little more love in their life. This sound is a great sound to use on a daily basis to attract love if you're looking for love. It is also good to create love in your life with your partnerships, okay? Mmm, love it. I don't know if you can hear it. Okay, so let's see what is happening for Virgo. From 815 to 821, I'm gonna shuffle these cards five times. We're gonna ask universe, God, our angels, you know, our ancestors, our spiritual guides to give us the messages for the zodiac sign Virgo from 815 through to 821, okay? So let's see what those messages are. We're gonna shuffle these cards five times. This is the first shuffle. Second. Third. Fourth and fifth. We're going to find out what is happening for the zodiac sign Virgo this week from A15 all the way through to 821. Let's see what's happening for Virgo this week. What is happening for the Zodiac sign Virgo this week? What is happening for the Zodiac sign Virgo this week? Show me the messages I need to see, please. And we are thankful and grateful. Okay, we got two cards on the upright. We got home and family, the 10 of cups, really working on creating happiness, creating that balance place at home with home and family and your emotions with your partnerships with your home with your family somewhere where you could feel emotionally fulfilled right but i see you pulling your energy back we have the four swords so there's something that's concerning you here in regards to home and family and you're pulling back your energy to take a look at it or maybe pulling back your energy because you did you know pushing things too hard or trying too hard in regard in regards to fulfilling this part of home and family there's something here that made you pull back your energy okay made you want to look at something closer okay so let's see what that is yeah there's a heavy burden here so definitely you're pulling you back your energy when it comes to home family and partnerships because you feel that there's a burden here or there's a situation that no matter how hard you try it feels kind of heavy to you it's, it feels like you know you have to give it so much energy and you feel like you're pulling you're putting more energy in than anyone else is okay the ten of wands is every ten card signifies some form of an ending okay so here you got the ten of wands the ten of wands is telling us that there is a heavy burden that you need to change or it needs to change or it will end right so there's some form of heavy burden here that you need to focus when it comes to home and family i feel like you have all these burdens or all these situations coming up with home and family and they're really making you wonder you know am i going to find this happiness am i going to find this equilibrium here or am i going to continue to con to continue to work against the grain and feel like I'm doing all the work and there's so many heavy burdens here, okay? Let's see what else is happening for home and family, um, Virgo. What else is happening for home and family for Virgo? Yeah, we got the Ace of Cups. Okay, so you're really wanting to grow love here, wanting to grow probably love in a partnership, probably love with family members, maybe bring some peace, you know, because the Ace of Cups isn't not just about love coming in, it's about also creating peace, <clears throat> creating emotional stability, <clears throat> creating emotional balance, okay? <clears throat> when it comes to home and family, and I feel like it has been a burden for you to reach this, this level of balance when it comes to emotions, to give and take, to, you know, everyone working together with home and family, everyone putting in their part. I feel there's a heavy burden here when it comes to that love part. Could be with a pa partnership that you're having at home, could be with children it's just something that makes you feel like no matter how hard you try it just doesn't work out for you okay what else is going on here for virgo what else is going on here for virgo oops we got one that flipped out 
page of swords. So you're needing to cut out certain things or cut out certain situations or even cut out certain people. This is an energy of being honest and truthful about what you need, about what, how you're going to move forward when it comes to home and family. This is an energy of communicating what it is that is going to make things better, okay? This is the Page of Swords. The Page of Swords is very direct. It's something that, you know, Page of Swords may not always come in with the smoothest messages, but what they're saying is, hey, you know what? There's something here that needs to be worked on in order to create less burden on myself in order to create where I feel like we're all balanced and we're all being loving and we're all in it together. Okay. And if it's due to a partnership, you're going to have to set boundaries or there's some boundaries that you're needing to set in order to create this equilibrium when it comes to home and family Virgo. Okay. What else is going on here for Virgo? Yeah, we got the fool. The fool is taking a leap in a new direction or doing things differently in order to create that stability you're looking for. It will come under the home and family. So there's something that you need to do differently there to create more equilibrium. There's something you need to do different there so that you don't feel like you're carrying the heavy burden all on your own, okay? So let's see what else we can find out here, okay, for you, Virgo? What else is happening for Virgo here? What else is happening for Virgo? Yeah, is there something here that you need to be honest and direct about? There's something here that you need to do differently. There's something here that you need to, you know, put people to have more responsibilities when it comes to home and family, when it comes to the relationship. If it's not a relationship you're working on, maybe there's family members or something to do with home and family that you need to have more boundaries and you need to, you know, say exactly how you want things done in order for things to move forward in a better way, okay? And you need to give people the responsibility back to them so that they help you out with when it comes to home and family, okay? What else is here for Virgo? What other messages we have for the Zodiac sign Virgo? What other messages do we have for Virgo? Please show me the messages I need to see. Yeah, so you're going to be in your mind about this new beginning or how to start this new beginning or how to implement this, but I feel you're going to be very passionate. Okay, so there's a card here. Okay, I'm overthinking things. I'm overthinking situations. Try not to overthink what you need to say or what you need to do in, re in order to create these boundaries, okay? Be passionate about the things you want to, you know, about how to relieve, uh, you know, relieve that heavy burden. Be passionate about making sure that everyone is equally putting in the effort and the time like you are, okay? When it comes to home and family and keeping emotions and stability there when it comes to that, okay? I see a lot to do with emotional stability with home and family here. I see you carrying the main burden and you're very passionate about wanting to create that stability, but you feel overwhelmed by it, okay? So then you need to take the action of letting, know, letting people know and not being afraid to do things differently in order to to create that equilibrium so that you don't feel like you're putting in most of the work okay virgo we're gonna get one more card and end it here under the ace of cups and see what else what other messages the spirit want to give to you okay so we got the ten of swords yeah you got ten tens here okay two tens here so this is about really you know ending that part of you that has created this burden that you have here okay there's something that needs to absolutely change and you need to do things differently okay when it comes to home and family when it comes to feeling like everyone is doing their part you need to be straightforward about what it is that you need or want or you need to pull back your 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 energy or pull away from the situation right either end it or tell them exactly tell the person or the situation hey what do i need to feel better when it comes to home and family that I feel like we're all working together that this is all you know that I feel that there's an emotional balance here okay when it comes to your partnership or home and family okay it's telling you the only way you're going to do that is to communicate it is to end certain parts of you that keep on overworking on something that others are not putting in their part either okay sometimes we need to change ourselves and a part of ourselves that continues to want to Oh, I'm going to give it my, my all. I'm going to give it my all, okay? Now it's time for you to tell others, hey, you know what? You got to put in the energy also for us to create a more equilibrium uh, emotional part when it comes to home and family, whether it be with a partnership, putting in more of the energy and meeting you halfway or with family or with children. Whatever it is, there's something here that they need to meet you halfway so you don't feel like the burden is only on you when it comes to emotional stuff, okay? So love and night, Virgo. Have a wonderful week, and thanks for listening. Bye-bye.